So we are now the afternoon. Still got my coffee because I feel pretty tired. I mean, it's been an intense. I, I had like uh, I was he I'm here in Uganda to do some other work, some other paid work, and that was very full on at very early mornings, late nights, um, and it's pretty much continued. But that's fine because I'm here to work, and I like to make the most of my time when I'm away from the family because, of course, I always feel sad. This is so we're just doing a tour. Is it how's the hammer mill? Is it working okay, Shivan? Let me just bring a look around and we'll go through the, the process Shivan's explaining but she has put some plants here in the, in some fresh you can see the soil in there um, there's the plants see like the on onion she's grown it's huge some other plants which is pretty cool so it looks, it looks nice and they're doing quite well Come on. Psst, 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 psst. chickens away Do you have to mix it sometimes? I keep on doing it like this mm -hmm. until water gets well. off. Okay. So yeah. Here's chicken. That's what I love. Good old Anton turning it, turning our substrate for us. Maybe you can do from this side to the other. Oh, is that better? Mm. I, because I'm left-handed, I'll do for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you can see, so we've added sawdust to this one. Is it rice husks as well? Can I see the rice husks? Mm. And it just, that's again just to help with the texture, make sure it's not too wet, which is what we want. And then the other reason you're turning it is for the oxygen to make sure it's aerated. But the ideal uh, height, Richard, is about, um, Richard, I'm forgetting, not Richard. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> uh, it's about 30 centimetres, because any more than that, and you start to get just pockets where they're just there's no oxygen at all, and yeah. maggots are not very intelligent, much, uh, so they will just stay, stay and suffocate slowly. So the bays are constructed to allow that, um, so we don't get too much. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, so that's like because of course all the food mm. is underneath, and so they gravitate towards that. Can you feel the heat coming off it as well? No, I can get the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a great smell, isn't it, Anton? It's, it's a lovely smell. Uh, lovely Very smell. <laughs> This is a slightly um, different bay, but these ones are five day old, so they're much smaller. You can see, look, they're, about, well, they're very active. Mm, they are very. Um, and that's like the other ones are less active, which is possibly because they're starting. To, they hadn't, I didn't see any black ones, but there's less substrate in there, there's less food, um, and they're older, so they may be starting to get to the point where they're going to um, pupate. So they're less, you know, less energetic. They sort of settle down a bit. Yeah, that's good. Anton's doing a great job. It's like it's, it's like gardening, isn't it? Really. That's why I'm happy doing it. Yeah. So we've definitely got a lot less flies than last time, partly because of the temperature. So because it's the rainy season, when it's overcast and raining, of course the temperature doesn't come up. And so hatching is a lot slower. So these pupa don't come out as much. It's the part of the issue. So, but there are still quite a few flies. Okay. But uh, it's a bit active now because it's it's the afternoon, it rained mid-morning and now it's sort of mid-afternoon, hottest part of the day. And it's, it's getting there. Which ones are ready for hatching? That's the, the day pretty much done. You can see the 
sunlight's going down. So uh, just lots, lot, uh, lots of uh, things to think about. It's great to come back and see how things are growing. I think I feel very encouraged generally. Um, you know, it's what, when you leave, you get a bit nervous, right? You're like, what's going to happen when I go? Because obviously, I was, you know, the input that I was providing isn't there anymore. Um, but nothing to worry about. The Porson, of course, uh, more than capable. But but also, we've got um, other staff who really stepped up um, and just really pushed us forward, as they would, <laughs> as, uh, I might say here. So, so yeah, I feel really encouraged. I think with the progress, we're selling fish. Um, Supply chain is a bit of an issue, of course, but you know we're working on that. BSF production's been done a little bit, but again, we can uh, very fixable because we we've got eggs, um, we've got maggots, um, we've got pupa. Uh, we don't have the fish to feed them either, so <laughs> well we've got many fish to feed them. So so actually, even that will be sorted because we're not taking um, pupa out of the population. Give you a better view. There we go. So yeah, I feel encouraged. I think it's been a good day. I think. Anton's enjoyed it. Um, just had a deep, quick debrief with him. I think he's, he was saying it's, um, he sees the challenges that I see and uh, he sees the potential that I see as well, which is really encouraging. So thanks, Anton, for watching this. And uh, that's the end. We're just going to go and relax now, I think, and sort of probably talk fish a bit more because that's what we like doing. But that's me for the day, and see you at another point tomorrow.